today we're going to be looking at a fluid cooler. It's an Avapco here in Phoenix. A customer is talking about replacing the float assembly. And the float assembly is right there. You can see the float. Now I've done a little bit of pre-testing. We're going to see if we can't get it for a trip. If I reach inside, I think it's working. We'll see if it shuts off. It shuts off, it actually should have bounced back down because the water in the level is not that high. It seems to be working, but when I pushed it up to shut off, it should have dropped back down to the water level. So there's probably something on the inside here due to age. It should be sticking and require it to be replaced. It looks to be the original on this towel, the fluid cooler. Everything looks good. You can really see the water spray. Looks pretty good. The water feels nice and cool. The fan hasn't come on yet, so we're just circulating air over. But I'm getting a nice cool water temperature coming in from the main line. So check it again. Staying pretty good. The concern me is when it goes up, to turn it off. It doesn't come back down. It's sticking. So that's a concern. So I may give them a float to replace it. Uh, this fluid cooler has got some heavy rust. You can see the rust right there. You can see the rust. Definitely got some stuff going on. Some heavy rust right there. I never liked having my iPhone this close to water. Now we replaced this motor. This is a 15 horse fan motor. We replaced that already. The guy did a pretty good job. Looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a price to replace that float. And I'm gonna make some recommendations on this rust. You can really see it breaking away. Maybe in the winter time we'll try to do a, uh, a coating on it and get this rust on. Because it's really breaking apart. So, this is an Evapco food cooler. There's another one right here next to it. I'm going to test the float exactly the same way. Because usually when one goes bad, they both go bad. But uh, those are some of the things that we look for. Calcium, not too slime. You want to be careful. You always want to be careful when you're uh, <coughs> looking at a, uh, a cooler. Sorry for my voice, I've got a cold this week. But you always want to be careful when you go to the top so you don't look down inside the top because if there's any Legionella or bacteria, it's going to blow in your face. The chemicals are going to blow in your face. So you really want to make sure that you don't get any of that. Again, you can see some rust and calcium right there. A lot of slime, a lot of green. So I'm uh, going to have to get something in there to clean this. Give it the water treatment guy. You can really see all the rust. So you need to do a little bit of love on this one. A little bit of love on this tower. And um, get it cleaned up and ready for summer. So until next time, I hope this helps. If you have any questions regarding this tower. Or uh, just want to send me a question. Or you're looking for some free stickers. Uh, get a hold of me at HVAC Reefer Guy, HVAC R E F E R G U Y Guy at gmail.com. Work safe, be safe. We'll see you next time.